Hello there folks. Here's a quick video today to show how to create a simple AM function block in Crimson Control Environment. This assumes that you have a device that can run Crimson Control, means that you have to have a graphite HMI with a Crimson Control module on the back of it, or you might have one of the new Edge controllers, which is a rocking product that has the Crimson Control built into it as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and start off, first of all, with our function block. And we're gonna go over to the left-hand side to the control section. In the control section here is where you can write your ladder logic, sequential flowcharting, or structured text language. If I click on the program over here, you can see right here, this is my program window. If I click out here in the window, notice how these icons up here change depending on what type of uh, program I'm running. So the first thing I wanna do is I'm gonna put on or insert a function block. If I click right here, insert function block. I can put this out here and you notice it's a AND block that I've got here. I'm trying to move it, but I've got an AND block on the screen here. Now the AND block is gonna take the ANDing of two input signals. So if I click this button right here, I'm gonna insert a variable. So let me go ahead and insert a variable right here. I'm gonna call this one input underscore number one, enter. I'm gonna declare it as a Boolean because an AND function is the AND of two Booleans or flag type variables. I'll leave it as global, I'll click yes. Notice when I did that over here on the left, it declared input one. So I'll move this guy over a little bit like this. Let me go insert another variable down here for instance. And I'll call this one input underscore number two, enter. I'm gonna make it a Boolean as well and a global, say yes. Notice it put it over here. And then my function, I need an output. So what about, I'll go ahead and insert another variable right here. And let's call this one my output. So it's here. Now once again, it's a Boolean, global variable. All right, so I've got my, my variables on the screen here. So what I need to do next, team, is I need to link these to my function block here. So watch this trick. I'm gonna take my mouse, and if I just hover over, for instance, the input side here, notice that I'm on the left, right-hand side of this. So if I click right here and hold down my cursor, I can drag a line over here to the input, boom, let go over it, and that links up those two. If I go down here to this one, I'll drag this guy right here onto that point, that connects it. And then I wanna tie the Q output of my AND function over here to my output here. Notice team, when I go over here, I don't see the symbol, but if I come to the right side of this, I can grab right here and come right across here, boom. Ties that guy up there like that, okay? So there's my function block. Of course, I can move things around, it'll position it correctly and so forth. Now, just like in ladder logic, uh, you've got to go ahead and uh, check for any uh, errors. So I'm gonna hit this button here, here see if there's any syntax errors there certainly isn't that's a good sign this button right here will also compile or translate build the program so I'm gonna go ahead and build the program no errors there looks great so far but here's the problem these tags reside within the PLC program they're not currently viewable from the HMI for me to actually uh, use it if you will so what I'm gonna do here over here on the left I'm gonna go ahead and uh, right click on one of these tags and right here where it says source I'm gonna hit the pull down and I'm gonna make a new tag and what this is gonna do for me is this is gonna create a cross-reference tag for the HMI to be able to see this so watch I'll click new tag flag tag it's in this folder you'll see here in a little bit so yes okay doesn't really show anything yet but I'm gonna do it for all three of these so you'll see here in a second which is good to see. So yes and I'll do it for the output as well all right, so that just created three tags that are now available over here on the left-hand side in the data tags for the HMI program. Otherwise, they were internal within the PLC, so that put them over here, so that's a good sign. One more thing I need to do before I test this. Over here on the left, um, I'm gonna, let's see here. Click on Programs. If I go here to Properties, call and read cycle, that's okay there. Ah. Over here on the left where it says Project, I want this program to execute periodically. 
Just so you guys know, the fastest currently that Redline can operate the ladder logic is a 100 millisecond scan time. If you have a signal that needs faster processing than that, I highly recommend that you purchase more of a PLC that has maybe a five millisecond scan time. And if you uh, just want to stick to that, let you know that a scan time here is 100 milliseconds. So I've got my code written here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to my display pages and I want to put these on the tag on the page so that you can actually see what happens when I run the program. So I'm going to go to data tags over here, expand here. I'm going to drag my input one out here like so. I'll make this guy be data entry. This button here turns on data entry. Maybe I'll make it a little bigger. I'll drag out my input two. I'll make this guy the same size as this one. And then I'll also right click and I'll say copy from all formatting from this guy. And then I'm gonna drag the output here like so, so we can see if this actually runs when I download it. All right, so I think I've got everything set up here correctly. Uh, let me go ahead and download this to my edge controller I've got here on my table. So hit the send button here. You have unbuilt control. Uh, well, let's see here. Hold on here. Hit yes to build the project. So I thought we did this bit. We'll go ahead and say yes to build it. System is going to shut down. We'll say continue. All right. So according to this, uh, it should be up and running. Let me go over here to my web browser. All right. So here's my web browser running on this thing here. If I turn on input one, press this here. turn on input one, notice the output doesn't go on. If I turn on input two, I hope the output goes on, let's see, and there it is. The AND function is when input one and input two goes on, only the output will be on. So if I turn one of these guys off, notice it goes off and so forth. I was curious to know, um, let me see something else here. Over here in control, at the program level, there is also um, this function here. I don't know if I can try this. Let me see here. I think there's a way where you can test this. Yes. Oh, yep. Let me try it here, team. Let's see what I'm talking about. There it goes. So this little button right here will let you test your edits uh, as I'm doing right here. If I pause it, I can do that, or I can stop this all together. But that's a way to test it locally. So I just wanted to make that as a quick video for you to see how to do a function block diagram to tie your tags from here to a function block, and more importantly, how to get those out to the HMI for the HMI to look at. Uh, one of the most common things overlooked though, team, is this part here in a project telling the uh, program to execute periodically. So uh, that's about it. I hope you enjoy it. Have a great day. Thanks.